All right, so I'm watching a documentary called Most Shocking Celebrity Moment of the 90s. I'm talking quiet because it's well past my bedtime. 22.48, got a little nipper in bed. Um, and this is about Jill Dando. And out of the 90s, the third most shocking moment was Jill Dando's murder. Let's go. The story of what happened to Jill is extraordinarily simple, really. She was going about her normal day, popping into a couple of shops, and walking in through her front door. That was all that she was doing, and someone, in a moment, came up and shot her, and she died on her doorstep. <laughs> At the time of her death in 1999, Jill Dando was one of the BBC's highest profile presenters. Jill Dando and I were very good friends. Uh, she was she was great, actually. Um, she was a really, really nice person. Voted BBC's TV personality of the year, her popularity had opened up a broadcasting career outside of her background as a newsreader, fronting travel shows or songs of praise and the highly respected Crime Watch. People knew her from their living rooms. They felt of her as part of their furniture. 1999 had begun brilliantly with her engagement to Alan Farthing. Not long before I'd been to her engagement party. Um, never seen anybody happier, actually. She was so excited, and it was wonderful to see her so happy and contented in her private life as well as in her professional life. And to see that snatched away in just a moment um, really shocks you to your core. Between quarters of 12 and 12 o'clock, the body of a woman was found outside number 29 Gowan Avenue, and that woman has been declared dead shortly after 1 o'clock. That woman has been identified as Jill Dando, the television presenter. I mean, it was an issue of shock. It was an absolutely devastating shock. The BBC newsroom was in shock as well, because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big processing house for, you know, shock events, but you don't expect that kind of shock and, and personal tragedy to be in the newsroom. At this stage, it appears, the best leads the police have are still the eyewitness descriptions of a man seen hanging around this street shortly before Jill Dando was murdered. There wasn't a huge amount of forensic evidence. There was no fingerprints. Was it connected with the fact that she presented Crime Watch? Was it something to do with a complete stranger who was fixated on her? Lots of conspiracy theories but few facts. You know, you can't help scratching around and thinking to yourself, well, why, how? I think a lot of people who were in the public eye in the same sort of way uh, did look over their shoulders in the thought that if it could happen to Jill, it could happen to anybody. A Met Police investigation proved fruitless. Over a year after her murder, a reconstruction of her last movements was shown on Jill's flagship show, Crime Watch. This was a programme that hunted down criminals. We felt the best thing we could do for Jill was to help the police in their investigations. But it was a hugely emotional night. A week later, local man Barry George was arrested. He was found guilty of Jill's murder, but his conviction was quashed. After a retrial, he was acquitted. The reality is that somebody talented and loved by everybody was now lost to us. She was just um, a delightful uh, personality and a, and a wonderful broadcaster. Coming up, the shocks that went global before social media existed. And that was the third most shocking moment throughout the 90s. But I'm sorry. <laughs> For me, I mean, there's so many loopholes in this. It's unbelievable. My my brain is going over, uh, 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 over, which is why I've had to make a video about it. And I shouldn't be making a video about it because it's bedtime. Um, but I'd just like to talk a little bit about it. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to do it over it. 
So those of you who don't know, um, Jill Dando used to present Crime Watch, um, the news, all sorts of things. Um, massive celebrity, really, in the 90s, late 90s, got shot, killed, died. No one knows why she got shot and died at all. Um, she presented all sorts of... Let's just hold up there. Let's go back. No one, Nobody knows why she got shot or died. Um, she got shot on a doorstep. Tragic. So there's an investigation. And um, basically she... Uh, was one of the never solved merv never solved mysteries. It plays on my mind. I don't understand why. But yeah, here we are. Now here she is with Cliff Richard. She was a big Christian, Jill Dando. She really loved Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard introduced her to a, a future husband. I think that plays a big part in what's kicking off in Jill Dando's murder. I was trying to say a moment ago that Jill Dando's murder has n never been resolved. Never been sorted. The guy who got uh, found through her crime watch appeal was acquitted. He got acquitted because, well, he was not guilty. I'd like to speak to him. But I'm pretty sure the jury sorted that right out. She was. Alan Farthing. Long before I'd been to her engagement party, and never seen anybody happier actually. She was so excited, and so she's so excited. Nineteen ninety nine. Alan Farthing. It was wonderful to see her so happy and contented in her private life as well as in her professional life. And to see that snatched away in just a moment um, really shocks you to your core. Between quarters of 12 and 12 o'clock, the body of a woman was found outside number 29 Gowan Avenue. And that woman has been declared dead shortly after 1 o'clock. That woman has been identified as Jill Dando, the television presenter. I mean, it's silly to say. For those of you who don't know, this is Michael Burke. Um, he is, from sort of my background, a big t um, news news reader. He just read read the news f throughout my entire growing up. Michael Burke. He did nine 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 that program. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this guy is legit. You, you just believe everything he says. He's got that voice. He's got that tone. And, you know, he's saying it's sad, it's sad, and he knows it's sad, but something still doesn't add up right. That was a devastating shock. The BBC newsroom was in shock as well, because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big processing house for, you know, shock events, but you don't expect that kind of shock and, and personal tragedy to be in the newsroom. At this stage, it appears, the best leads the police have are still the eyewitness descriptions of a man seen hanging around this street shortly before Jill Dando was murdered. There wasn't a huge amount of forensic evidence. There was no fingerprints. Was it connected with the fact that she presented Crime Watch? There's no fingerprints around the house, so does that mean there's no Jill Dando fingerprints? There's no her husband fingerprints? Or is there just fingerprints of Jill Dando and her husband and no one else suspicious? That was... That's what I thought. I'm, I'm, I'm not a police investigator. Was it something to do with a 
complete stranger who was fixated on her. Lots of conspiracy theories. That comment throws me into... Um, how can I explain when someone says a conspiracy theory? As someone who... I don't admire conspiracy theories. I don't like conspiracy theories. I don't like the word conspiracy theory. Or the phrase conspiracy theory. I just think when someone uses it, it really bugs me. Because in 1999, this investigation is still ongoing. Nobody was thinking about a conspiracy theory to, to kill Jill Dando. Nobody was thinking, oh, it's a conspiracy to kill Jill Dando because she's just a news presenter. She, she presents Crime Watch. She doesn't do anything other than be the jolly personality on the TV. But few facts. Lots of conspiracy theories. But I don't, I don't understand why she's coming from the angle of conspiracy theories. Because that is, that is an, uh, an effect of time. A conspiracy theory. It's like hindsight theory. Okay, we thought about it. We thought about it. And we thought about it some more. And the things that happened are she got murdered. Somebody got done for her murder. He got acquitted, and now we could look back on it and go, well, we could say this happened, we could say that happened, A, B, C, D, and they're just conspiracy theories. Well, something happened, and someone's not telling the truth. But because Michael Burke is saying it's sad and it's unfortunate, we're just like, yeah, it's sad and unfortunate. We don't, we don't question anything else other than it was sad and unfortunate. But actually... It's still unsolved. You know, you can't help scratching around and thinking to yourself, well, why, how? I think a lot of people who were in the public eye in the same sort of way uh, did look over their shoulders in the thought that if it could happen to Jill, it could happen to anybody. I met police... But why did it happen to Jill? That's my question. Investigation proved fruitless. Over a year after her murder, a reconstruction of her last movements was shown on Jill's flagship show. If you didn't hear that, it said a year, a year after her murder, because they'd still not found the culprit, they put a, a special program out on Crime Watch, the program she used to present to try and help find the murderer. A year after, one whole year. Crime Watch. This was a program that hunted down criminals we felt the best thing we could do for Jill was to help the police in their investigations but it was a hugely emotional night a week later local man Barry George was arrested so we are Barry George is arrested he eventually went to prison for it for a, a time got found guilty I suppose um, eventually he got acquitted like this video was shown so I just wanted to point out that doesn't this guy resemble her first, not her first, but her husband or her fiancé? Is that just me? I'm not saying he did it. I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm saying he resembles. He was found guilty of Jill's murder, but his conviction was quashed. After a retrial, he was acquitted. Quashed and acquitted. Found guilty, quashed and acquitted after a retrial. Why? Because it was a year later. He just looked, he lived on the same street or the same area. He looked like the same guy. So there's a guy that looks just like her husband. And he got acquitted because he didn't do it. Now, I don't know why he looks like the person was hanging around because he does look similar to her husband. But the fact that she was sat not so long back, let me rewind, with a person that was introduced 
to her and then became her husband by Sir Cliff Richard. So that guy there, I forget his name, I'm not watching this program uh, deeply. I'm not investigating Jill Dundo's murder. But he looks similar. If you put a tash on him, he looks similar to the same guy. Brown hair. Distinguishing features, whatever you want to say. Introduced the by the Sir Cliff Richard to a future husband. There is old Cliff. Now, what I'm going to say over this might be a little bit controversial. But I've read into Jill Dando's case and why she got assassinated, as it were, or murdered. And it's because this guy, her husband, knew that Jill Dando being deep in the BBC and all that kicks off and a journalist knew that there was a lot of paedophilia and dark dark shit kicking off at the BBC and she was investigating it as an investigate investig investigative journalist which is what you would do as a journalist. So she's investigating that. And that led her deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. And people knew that she was doing that. So she got introduced. You can check this out for yourself. She got introduced to this guy through who, one of her most favourite people. Because he was a Christian singer. Was Sir Cliff Richard. Now I know. There's no allegations. Well, there's no allegations. That's wrong. There's no guilty charges. Been put against Sir Cliff. Which is fine. He's not guilty. But there are. Allegations. Of Sir Cliff. Doing things, he's found not guilty. Okay, fine. We'll let it drop. But it lines up with the things that I'm saying. So for now, I'm going to go along with Jill Dando is investigating the BBC, and people are saying, "Uh oh, uh, she's getting way too close to the truth." We need to hush her up. So her favourite person comes into her life. Cliff, the Christian singer. And he introduces her to... Let me just say, he also presents Crime Watch. I'm not sure of his guilt yet. He might not be guilty, I'm not sure. He introduces her to a future husband. I want to capture his name. I forget it. I'm sure someone can post his name. His name introduces it to him. Within the 12 months, she's died. Shot, murdered. I might be wrong. I'm spitballing. But basically, she's died. And, uh, yeah, she'd introduced herself. Not introduced. She'd introduced herself to... Cliff, and now all I know is Cliff's introduced her to her husband, and her husband's, in my eyes, I don't want to call him guilty of the murder, but I'm going to say someone very similar to his look has murdered her because she's investigating people at the BBC. Those people included people like Jimmy Savile, who we know is a prolific paedophile, um, and I think Jill Dando was onto something. And I think she was onto something so much 
and it messed up with the social narrative so much that she had to be bumped off and people speaking any sort of truth of what really happened Lots of conspiracy theories, and that's all it's going to be boiled down to, is a conspiracy theory. This is probably what this is. But I've read so much, and I've connected quite a lot of dots. And I think, well, why aren't you questioning him? Why aren't you, con you know, I've never seen anything against Michael Burke, this is a genuinely nice guy from what I am aware of. He brought us up on the news. He's retired now, he's a genuine guy, I believe, and I think his genuine nature is being manipulated on this program. But it's such a shame that people can't connect them dots. That, that you know, what we need to concentrate on here before I go, because this video has gone on way too long for me is he is a genuine guy they manipulating his genuine genuine loveliness to make it seem like oh it's so sad yes it is sad but let's not miss the points of what happened her her, her murder she's murdered she's the murderer is still at large technically from from what we know just another just another shooting on the street but I think there's so much more to it I think people need to look into it please have more time I have not got the time to look into it because I've got to pay my bills I've got to go to work every day I'm just watching a programme on Channel 5 on a Saturday night and it's all kicking off in my brain so someone please if you've got the time investigate Investigate Jill Dando's murder, connect them dots, sort this out for Jill Dando's sake and all of ours. I'm sorry I've been quiet, I hope it makes sense and I hope you can hear everything I'm saying. Cheers!